Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. Some interesting things uh, came out in a court filing um, that I recently got my hands on. Uh, it was also posted on the Black Hand uh, chat forum. Shout out to those guys. Best in the business. Um, former Colombo acting mob boss, Ralph DeLeo, who had a very unique rise through La Cosa Nostra, um, came out of prison at the end of last year. He is now officially out of his halfway house as of this month. Um, DeLeo was trying to get out. He did about 15 years, was the acting boss of the Columbos from the summer of 2008 to the holiday Christmas holiday of 2009 so for about 18 months he was the front boss what was unique about him is that he was a guy from Boston um that came up under the Angelo brothers and the patriarchal crime family out of the north end did a bunch of jail time both state and fed and cooperated um with both the state and the fed Either this wasn't known or or wasn't known until later or wasn't cared about. Uh, DeLeo became really close friends with little alley boy Persico, uh, the mafia prince of the Persico mob dynasty. They were uh, cellmates in, in federal prison in the 90s. And uh, alley boy got him made when he came out, got made in the Columbos in, in 2000 was running a crew out of Somerville, Massachusetts, right outside of Boston, and then got tapped to be uh, acting boss uh, from 08 to 09. Did 15 years, and as he was trying to get out on a compassionate release, the feds put forth information that he has a longstanding feud with the Denunzio brothers, uh, the mob bosses of Boston, his hometown, uh, that there were rumors of a prison altercation between DeLeo and Carmen the Big Cheese D'Annunzio, who's the godfather of the New England Mafia right now, the number one shot caller in all of uh, the patriarchs, uh, has had been the underboss for, you know, 20 years before that. Um, and DeLeo was emailing people as well as talking to CIs that were locked up. And then those CIs were talking to the FBI about his issues with Denunzio, uh, Big Cheese. And then via his beef with Big Cheese, he had an issue with Little Cheese, Anthony, um, who right now I'm told is the acting boss of the family for Carmen and had previously been acting boss before he had to do a prison sentence. Um, DeLeo is 80. The, uh, the Denunzio brothers are in their 60s. DeLeo was communicating with people about how much he hated the Denunzios, how he was working out, uh, trying to lose weight and, and lift, lift weights to get stronger. So when he saw the Denunzios on the street, when he got out of prison, he could, quote unquote, knock them on their asses. Um, and this all came out in the feds trying to block his early release uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. There were emails from 2017 um, and reports related to CIs that DeLeo was talking to about this. Uh, the belief was that this was a lot of bluster um, and, and you know, kind of gangster locker room talk that did not, that DeLeo did not really intend on confronting the Denunzio brothers. But it, it, it will be interesting to see how this plays. I don't think there's going to be any violence or anything, but you got a, f a former Colombo mafia Don that is now for the first time in 15 years back in the Boston area. Um, since he went away, big cheese Denunzio went from underboss to the boss uh, and not just the boss, but the, the boss of the whole patriarchal crime family, not just Boston and part of the, the emails and the conversations that DeLeo was having um, was that he didn't recognize the Denunzios uh, as bosses um, and that he basically can do whatever he wants in, in Boston. I know that he's not just backed by the Columbos. He has good relationships with the Gambinos as well. It's also interesting to note that according to these 
reports uh, in, in the court filings from the federal prosecutors, they believe that DeLeo was going to come out, meaning coming out in the late 2023, um, and still be active. So it doesn't look like whether or not they, the Colombos, the Persicos knew about DeLeo's cooperation history or not. It doesn't seem to be affecting him now as an octogenarian. Shout out to Jerry Capace for teaching me that word. Um, and then just finally, just to give a little bit of small, you know, notes on his cooperation. He was involved in a murder for hire plot in Ohio back in the seventies, uh, cut a deal with Ohio state prosecutors. And then while he was locked up, um, there was a LCN related murder in Maine of a Boston bank executive in the spring of 1976 named James Cassidy, um, still unsolved case is still open. The, the authorities don't believe that, um, DeLeo had anything to do with it. He was not there at the time, but they believe that people that DeLeo uh, knew very well and did business with within the patriarchal crime family were responsible, are responsible. And uh, he was trying to help them break that case open back in the late 70s. So very, very, I keep on saying unique. Um, he's a unicorn, both by becoming a boss of the Columbos as a Boston, not even a transplant, as a guy in Boston, um, and being able to rise as high as he's risen and stay active, according to the feds, you know, despite people knowing that he, he's been a cooperator on two separate occasions with, with two separate agencies. So we should, we should, uh, we should see it, uh, how this plays out. I, I don't expect anything major, no fireworks or anything. Uh, DeLeo's 80 years old, and I'm sure he just wants to kind of Fade into the night and uh, stay out of prison. That's it's been in there for 15 years. It was in there for quite a while before that. Um, the denunzios are on the rise right now, or I shouldn't say on the rise. They're as high as they're as they can be, and you know their power is only growing. And they got another 15 years at least. So just you know filling filling everybody in on that little interesting uh, note on Ralph DeLeo, who is now out of a halfway house. And back in Somerville, Massachusetts. Please spread the word, share, like, subscribe for all the latest organized crime breaking news across North America here at the OG and our companion web magazine, The Gangster Report. OG Pod, Scott Bernstein out.